Hi everybody, this is Adam from Wax Pack Gods. I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share with you a thrift store find uh, that I came across here a little bit after Christmas in 2019. It is the George Brett story. Um, I'd not seen this book before and I thought it was worth a run through here on YouTube. Uh, a quick word about the thrift store. It was actually a store that our local Humane Society has set up um, where people can take donations and then they uh, sell those items and, and the proceeds go to help our Humane Society. So it's kind of a cool little um, setup and we are dog lovers. So that's always a bonus when you can help the pooches and get some cool baseball uh, deals out of the, out of the deal. So this book is The George Brett Story by John Garrity, who is a longtime sports writer. He's written for Sports Illustrated, also written for Rolling Stone and some, some other publications. I'll just go through a little bit here. Here's the jacket. So he references, Garrity references here, August of 1980 when Brett was kind of zeroing in on hitting 400. This book was written in 1981. And so you get a lot of that Brett Peak flavor. So a lot of talk about um, 1980 Royals um, and how they went head to head with the, the Yanks in the ALCS and how Brett won uh, the batting title. And he cites the American League's Player of the Year award. I haven't read the whole thing yet, so I don't know if he actually knows about the MVP award at this point yet or not. Um, so we'll look at, this is 1981, John Garrity copyright. Look at the table of contents. So the first part of the book is, I never thought I'd be this good. So there's some language on the back flap about how Brett was kind of, George Brett was kind of the... Uh, underachiever, I suppose you might say, of the four Brett brothers. So I think that's probably what that's about. And then there's the Royals triangle. And I, I can see that there um, are some references to Whitey Herzog and the coaching staff there. And then <clears throat> psyching down some of the mental aspects of Brett's game. So I'm going to go through all these pages, but there are some images in the middle that I thought were pretty nice. There's some early George Brett pictures from, you know, probably Little League, Babe Ruth years um, from Jack Brett. And then uh, going up and you see George and Ken Brett brothers who were teammates on the Royals for a while. Uh, there's Ewan Kaufman, Hal McRae. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, here's, here's a kind of an interesting coaching picture. You have Charlie Lau and Whitey Herzog who uh, were called the Svengali of Swat and the White Rat. And so then kind of have a smiling Brett sitting on top of the world at this point. And of course, you know, ending as it did with the 1980 season, the, uh, the coverage in this book doesn't talk about the pine tar incident which came in 1983 or the you know the 3000 hits um or the hall of fame induction of course or the 1985 world series title that brett won with his kansas city royals and of course it doesn't talk about his baseball cards either but we all know as collectors that the 1975 tops uh george brett rookie card kind of was one of the biggies in the hobby f throughout the 80s uh, the Yount rookie, Robin Yount rookie, kind of caught up to it there for a while, but Brett is still a, a heavyweight. So is Yount, but probably Brett's rookie card even more so. And here's the back cover, again with a smiling Brett and his bat in hand. You can see the spine. Uh, so I don't know, you, you can probably find this book on Abe Books or, or whatever, or you can find it in you know maybe your local thrift store, Goodwill, perhaps a flea market or something. I think I paid like 75 cents for this one. So well worth the coinage on that. Um, just wanted to share with you. And again, another plug for your Humane Society. Uh, if 
you're in, into animals, uh, find a way to support them. And thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like this video and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks a lot.